Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video we're going to go over all of the details you might have missed from the latest announcement of the brand new Pokemon Legends ZA game that was announced earlier today. Pokemon Presents definitely ended with a huge curveball today. I was expecting maybe a Pokemon Black and White remake or something Johto related which was hinted at throughout the Presents but we got none of that. We ended up back in Kalos and we got Pokemon Legends ZA which as we can see here is the logo for this brand new title. It will be releasing simultaneously worldwide in 2025. And this is the website for this brand new game. There isn't very much information, but we can have a look at the text here. Announcing an ambitious new entry to the Pokemon video game series. And I think it's quite important to take a look at that first line there. Announcing an ambitious new title. So ambitious kind of points at a lot of nuances to things that we might not have seen in any other mainline series before. And I think when you look back to Pokemon Legends Arceus, we saw lots of new things introduced in that game. How we train our Pokemon with Grit, how we battle, how we catch. Loads of new aspects were introduced into that game. So I'd imagine similar things are going to be introduced into this one as well. Even maybe how we even play the games could be completely different to what we've seen in other games. So I think that is really a big hint to what we get and even in the logos as well it could give us a bit of a point to where the story is what the two sides of the coin are for this legends game and what we could maybe look at so you've got a very futuristic looking z which obviously relates to zygarde which we would assume it does then you've got this a sitting behind it with these roots which kind of gives it a very nature or natural kind of feel so you've got a very futuristic in nature so future and nature kind of mixing together coming together and maybe that's what the story behind this game is on top of that we do have the trailer which we'll get into in a moment as you can see the trailer starts off with this confidential material here it looks like a document of some sort we get a bit of writing on it and then it does translate it for us urban redevelopment plan or blank city there's a bit of information here and uh, the one thing that i would point out is this logo up in the top right hand corner of course I think that is really important because it does appear throughout this trailer and probably is the organization behind the redevelopment of this city you know so i think that's who is behind this probably play a prominent role in the stories let me get a bit further into this of course we've got a vision of beautiful coexistence between people and pokemon and that beautiful coexistence between people and pokemon would even refer me back to the logo itself if we're looking at the logo as a futuristic z and a more natural a between like innovation like futuristic and nature itself and the coexistence between those two because they are quite conflicted quite different bringing those together as a coexistence is the people being the futuristic thing and then the pokemon being the more natural thing and then having a coexistence of these two obviously pokemon found out in nature right in in the wild and having them to coexist in a city environment it's pretty weird so it is that sort of coexistence in this kind of alien environment to what Pokemon are normally in. So I guess that could play a part in the story there. With that, we get into the architectural drawings of what this vision looks like. We've got people here, we've got Pokemon here, which makes sense for that coexistence. And then we get a bit more of a futuristic 3D look of what this vision looks like. And we are following the Pikachu throughout this journey as well, which makes a lot of people kind of instantly think that we might get a return of the synchro machine that we saw in scarlet and violet where we can go into a pokemon and then control the pokemon that could be part of the gameplay in pokemon legends z a and that would make a lot of sense right we had the taster for it in pokemon scarlet and violet and now it's been fully implemented into this game and then we have to use pokemon to complete parts of the story because this is all set in one city so there's only so much we can do one city probably only has one gym right if there is a gym in this storyline so it makes sense that there are other ways for us to go about completing the story, whatever it turns out to be. Turn the corner, we get our first glimpse of Pokemon that we are going to get in this story. We're going to get the Pyro and Litleo, so they're confirmed to be in these games. And then we do get a, a selection of the Furfru, we get Flababy, we get Klefki as well. We see a big bridge area over the water here and we get the Fletchinders, we get a Dragonair, we get Staryu's. We even get the Hippopotas Pokemon and an Absol down in this bottom right hand corner. So a bunch of Pokemon including the Emolga and then going up the stairs is a Gogo. We've got on the top of the bridge an Arbok and then what looks like maybe a Scraggy even crossing the bridge as well. I could be wrong with that one. But then we go into a battle arena in the main square area between Sylveon and Aegislash. 
We've got Crocodile, we've got Sand Isles, so lots of Pokemon here being referenced. We've got Furfuru as well, and then we have the Pinsir, the Heracross, we get an Eevee, we get Bell Sprouts, we get a Pangoro, an Onix as well. So we get a bunch of Pokemon, then we come down into this main area and we get a very quick view of what is down in here. And it does look like we've potentially got another Furfuru and what could be a Rhydon, I guess, sort of creature. And then there's a few more Pokemon, but it flashes so quickly before we take this huge view out of the city and what this vision will be looking like. Because I'm assuming this is still just a vision of the architectural plans, right? And then we have the overview of the city. We do get this. We revert back to the architectural work and then reveal that it is Lumios City, which the urban redevelopment plan of Lumios City. So we are going back to Kalos. It is confirmed there. Then we get the reveal of the Pokemon Legends Z and then the A, which confirms the game's title. And we get it confirmed that it is going to be released in, like we've already mentioned, worldwide in 2025, which is very exciting. But it means we're going to get no Pokemon game potentially this year. And then we get the final teaser of this as well, and it is the Mega Evolution symbol. So Mega Evolution will be returning to this game, to Legends, and that is very exciting for a lot of reasons. I mean, imagine the possibilities with new Mega Pokemon being introduced in this game. We're going to get a bunch of new starters, I would imagine, if it follows suit with the previous Legends game. We might end up just getting the Kalos starters, right? But we could get a new selection of starter Pokemon in this game, if starters are going to be a thing in this game. But it's likely that they will have Mega Evolutions because all of our original starters in X and Y got Mega Evolutions. So there's no reason why these starters won't get Mega Evolutions as well. It will make a lot of sense. So that's kind of exciting. As well as all of the other Pokemon. If we look at recent data mines, we had Jinx kind of revealed to be a Pokemon that was meant to get a Mega Evolution. Flygon, we know, was meant to get a Mega Evolution. So there's all these possibilities that we could see getting Mega Evolutions in this game when it does release. And that's what really excites me. I think the possibilities of some of the old Pokemon that we always wish got Mega Evolutions, getting those Mega Evolutions. But let me know down in the comment section which Pokemon you hope most are going to get a Mega Evolution when this game does drop in 2025. The other thing to note as well, this Mega Symbol looks slightly different to the one that we're used to. It has a few more colors in it. And then if we go back to Lumo City from the X and Y games, you've got the Blur Plaza, which is blue. You've got the Vert Plaza, which is green. You've got the Juan Plaza, which is yellow. The Rouge, which is a shade of red, and then the Magenta, which is a shade of purple. So blue, green, yellow, red, and purple. And then if we look at the evolution symbol, it's got all of those colors in it. So that's the colors that make up all of these different plazas. So whether or not the, these plazas are what we see in the game when it comes to us playing it, if these plazas are still named the same, and then they make up the colors of what we see in that mega symbol at the end. Who knows? But that would that would make a lot of sense for why these plazas are named like that. And if these different shades in the mega symbol make any difference or not, you know. And there's one more thing I want to mention in today's video. We got a great message from JT Plays over on Twitter. And the unknown at the end of the presents was a mixed up spelling of CU, meaning that it's goodbye. The title ZA is AZ, but mixed up. I think the story will have a timeline mixed up and will be jumping back and forwards from the past to the present or the future, causing paradoxes as seen in Paldea and Area Zero as remakes keep the newest gen's theme, playing in the times of a Z story so we get the correct present and future timeline, which I think is really, really interesting. This is really interesting because ZA does have that huge link to AZ, the Great War was like 3,000 years ago. Whether or not we're going to be jumping that far back, I can't see it happening. But maybe the after effects of the Great War were long lasting, right? So maybe we're at the tail end of that. But maybe there is some link to AZ in some way, shape or form in the Eternal Floet because that is something that could tie in with everything of that Kalos story. It'd be nice to see that. And somehow if that ties into Zygarde as well, I just think it's an interesting thought do look at because if you do look at that pokemon presents so we see the trailer here ending with the pikachu and then we've got the unknowns and the basic image here is just the letters mixed up for cu and we have the question mark at the end kind of following along uh after this message which you know makes me think it could be cu saying bye or it could be almost saying you see question mark 
who knows i think some interesting things to think about going into this but that's pretty much everything that i wanted to break down talk about today for the new legends game i'm very excited for it it's going to be very very hype and uh we've got lots to look forward to of course any news we get we will be updating here any theories that we get on anything that was released in today's trailer we'll cover of course going forward on the channel in the run-up to that release next year it's going to be very exciting i hope you enjoyed the announcement of this brand new legends game and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye